importans. All right, so to cover importans, I'm going to do something very simple because importans take forever to render. I mean it. This, these things, like, seriously, take absolutely forever to render. And I don't know if they're even worth it. I mean, really, you could do a lot of good stuff with just uh, final gather and a few other things. But I'm not going to taint your will to use importans. You can use them till your heart's a little desired. Um, I'm just stating that, yeah. They're interesting. So, first off, I'm going to create a structure to house the importans. Because they're finicky little creatures that like to live in boxes. Uh, I guess you can make a window anywhere, really. I think I'll throw a window at the top. Pop. And then I'll take and double wall this. That's important. Oop. And make sure you keep faces together. There we go. Now on the inside I have this. And what I'm going to do is take this object, hit 5 on the keyboard, so I can take it and put it down on the ground. There we go. I'm going to display grid off. So the idea here is to light this guy up with a single area light coming through a sky dome. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's see, area light. Rotate the area light at 90 degrees. Oop, negative 90. And let's throw it over the top of this hole. Okay, good. Just has to cover the hole pretty well. And then I'm just going to bring it down just a skosh. There we go. Okay, so now make this box as big as you want. Just so you have enough room in it. So you can get in here kind of look around okay so by default right now this is what our render is going to be if I use mental ray and a quality of 100 percent I have this Okay, so it's really dark in here, and it's because light isn't really bouncing all that well. Okay. So what I'm going to do is turn on some features. I'm going to turn on some global illumination, some iridescent par particles, and then go into indirect lighting, and go down to iridescent particles and turn this down to 64 or it will take forever to render now this density is at 1 um, I can get away with having the density as 0.1 just until I get everything situated that'll cut down on the render time okay here we go Now, hopefully, since I turned everything down, it won't take that long to render.
So you can see light is bouncing around a lot better within the scene. And taking a very long time to do it. Okay, I'm just going to keep this image. I'm going to make sure I get rid of all the other images. So I'm just trashing these out. I guess I don't have any more. Oh, yeah, I do. There we go. Now, in Portons, uh, since they bounce around the scene and they need angles at which to bounce, I would say the density should be raised up to one. Now, another thing I like to do, however, is create a physical sun sky. And this is going to stream in through that hole. And you can see right down here, all these little particles coming in. Okay. So really, um, in order for the importons and everything to work together, you know, it really does help to have a sky and it bases itself on that sky and then comes in quite well. Now, when you create the sky, you're going to find out that maybe something got turned on. And I would say the render looks amazing, okay? This is not too bad of a render actually. I like this render. Okay, so let's take the final gathering out of the equation and turn it back onto iridescent particles. So, let me And you notice how fast that was to render. And I think the major idea here is to formulate a way to have bounce light coming all from an outside source, like a window, a sky dome, whatever. Again, I like Final Gather, and I like Physical Sky. Um, when you turn everything off, it looks about the same, but it takes about 10 times more render time to actually do it. So, I guess you got to ask yourself, is it about render time, or is it about getting a good scene? So... You can see light is now very, very fluent within the scene. Bounce light is fully bounced off of everything. I still have the sky dome effect here. Got these little tiny details right in here. Now, usually you would have to use Final Gather in order to calculate this. And you can tell everything's working because of how how well everything's balanced. You would have to still stick another light in the scene in order to calculate for a brief shadow over here. There we go. Pretty amazing. So as far as long as how long it takes, it's worth it. But I'm just stating that, yeah, it does take a while. And on a slow machine, it wouldn't even try it. But there we go. 
importans to increase the not that it needs increased but to increase how well this looks all one has to do is turn up the number of rays and turn up the density okay and then you're going to see an a great improvement all right importans within maya hope you enjoyed sorry for how short that was but really that's kind of all i know about the subject <laughs>